it's not a matter of getting rid of it. Right? It's a matter of putting it in its place. I recognize when that happens to me, I, it's, just a, it's just a feeling in my gut. It's literally in the body, right? It, I don't judge it any longer. I don't think about it. I don't try to correct it. I don't do anything. I just notice, whoop, my, my inner beta is acting up because somebody told me something. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot. I've been slowly opening into Proverbs in the Bible thanks to advice given to me by my boss. In my reading, I found there are certain verses that say that it's wise to receive and love correction and that only fools despise discipline. In the past, upon receiving correction, I would respond with immediate rejection of it. But now I'm able to understand that it's necessary and a sign of love from those who give it to me. Because if they didn't care about me, they wouldn't be correcting me. Now, knowing that correction is good for me and beginning to embrace it, I still deal with those immediate emotions of pride and anger sometimes when getting called out on my bad habits or mistakes. I'm able to catch myself now, but getting over these emotions can still take some time. I'd rather get past the emotions and get to the logical root of the correction faster. Any advice on dealing with those immediate emotions to move past them and receive the discipline with my brain instead of my heart, my emotions? Man, I can totally relate to this question and I felt the same way uh, prior to waking up to the value of correction and other people's wisdom and and afterwards and i was right there with you man i like there was a time when i didn't want anybody to tell me anything and i would become very defensive right away like i say i'm kind of like an old millennial like a lot of you guys and that's a kind of a millennial attitude right we have this sense that like nobody should tell me what to do and that you know i i know everything right and it's just i guess it's just my nature i was born in 79 and uh, I grew up as a kid thinking the same thing. I didn't like when anybody would discipline me or, or correct me, like you say. Um, but then I learned, just like you learned, that it is better. It is better to receive that from, you know, the loving correction from people who are older or people who know without getting emotionally involved, without getting emotionally upset. And even though I learned like you learned, right, both of us, right, you learn from the Bible, I just learned from wisdom, you know, just, just experience. You know, I realized, oh, shit, I was wrong, right? Uh, I'm 42. It took me a long time to figure that out. Um, I still get the emotional reaction. That, that hasn't gone away from me, right? I know you're wanting to get rid of it so that you can go to, your, you can go to the mind, but it's not a matter of getting rid of it. Right? It's a matter of putting it in its place. I recognize when that happens to me, I, it's, just a, it's just a feeling in my gut. It's literally in the body, right? It, I don't judge it any longer. I don't think about it. I don't try to correct it. I don't do anything. I just notice, whoop, my, my inner beta is acting up because somebody told me something, right? Whoop, and I feel it. And I recognize it. I know why it's there. I know what's, in other words, I know what triggered it. I know what's going on. But I don't do anything about it. I'm not trying to get rid of it. It's just a, it's just a, it's an instinct. It's a gut reaction, but I no longer let it control me. Right? So when you have that, when you have that emotional gut reaction, recognize, okay, that's the, that's my primal. That's my uneducated, uncivilized, uncivilized inner beta beast acting up. And you could, you could talk to the beast. Hey, calm down. It's okay. It's all right. But then you immediately go to the head. You immediately go to the, the stoic place, the grounded place, the calm place, the place where you can, you can deal with people on a rational level rather than allowing the, the feeling to dictate your thoughts or to dictate your words or to dictate your actions. Let the feeling be the feeling. Let the feeling be okay. Let the feeling be there. Don't try to change the feeling. If you try to change the feeling or you try to judge the feeling or try to fight with the feeling, it's gonna be a, you're going to fight yourself. You're wrestling with yourself and it's not worth wrestling with yourself. It's better to correct yourself. Just like you, the people correcting you from the outside, you're correcting yourself on the inside. And it's a loving correction. Just like the people on the outside are giving you loving corrections, you give yourself a loving correction. You feel that little, that little you know, for me, I, like my, I feel it in my stomach. Feel that little thing in your stomach, you just say, hey, it's all right. Be easy. Leave it. Leave it alone. That's what I tell my dog. My dog is laying and like, somebody walks by or something's going on and he like gets up like he's gonna go do something i'd say leave it leave it that's his that's his gut reaction he's a dog that's his primal reaction he's acting like a freaking animal right like you and me but on the inside we 
with the animal. He's full animal, right? I have to tell him, leave it. It's okay. It's all right. Leave it, right? And the person will walk by and he's like looking like, Rrr. like it's all right. I'm not trying to tell him, don't have that feeling, right? If I tell my dog, stop it, don't do that, what I'm doing is I'm training him, I'm training him not to respond when maybe one day I'll need him to respond. Maybe one day I'll need him to react. Maybe one day that person that's walking by is actually a threat. And maybe that person that's correcting you or giving you advice, maybe they're actually a threat. So the same way I don't want my dog to turn completely docile, you don't need to turn docile. Same way I don't have to tell my dog, stop doing that, stop looking at that person, never do that again. And like, you know, with the dog, you correct the dog with like, you know, pulling his chain. Without pulling his chain, I don't pull his chain, I just say, hey, easy, easy, it's okay, leave it. Because there may be a time that somebody corrects you or somebody walks by and you need that beast. You need that, I need my dog to get up and bark. And you might need to bark Right. Somebody might be correcting you, but it's but it's coming from not the right place. Right. Not everybody. See, a lot of us form this habit because we we're used to people uh, correcting us from the, from from a, from a not nice place, from a bad place. Right. Like teachers who maybe they were upset because their their cat died and they, they go to school and they're correcting all the kids with a mean attitude. Right. Who knows? But like things that happen that, uh, you know, experiences that we've had with people where now we judge everybody that wants to tell us something, right? But there could be a legitimate, you know, so when it's those, when it's those people and it's not legitimate, when it's those people are, uh, you know, they're trying to hurt you or they're, or they're just wrong, you need that inner barking dog. Don't, sh don't, don't euthanize your dog. Don't, don't neuter your inner dog, right? Keep him, keep him active, but... Put him in his place. Hey, it's okay. It's all right. Leave it. Not this time. <laughs> Maybe next time. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.